we are going to do some AI preset, something that is very powerful in Lightroom, which I believe will totally change the game. Something once you have it in place, it's going to save you so much time. I want to create a preset based on this photo. So let's get started. So on this one, I'm not going to do any basic retouching. I'm going to go straight here and you see people right now. It's like detecting people and it found one person. I'm going to click that one person. Okay. And you can create mask. And what I want to do is I want to create a mask for a different feature of a face. So I'm going to go uh, facial skin. That's good. Body skin. You can see in red what has been selected. So that's the body skin. Love that. Eyebrow for woman. Definitely. I Celera. This one, I never do anything about it. I don't like to make the OIS. So I don't use this one, but high risk and purple. Yes, definitely. Lips. Definitely. Teeth. Definitely. There is no teeth there. Hair, of course, and clothes I don't use. Okay. So I've selected all of that. I'm going to create a mask. Now, what's really annoying is I don't know why uh, Lightroom does not give the name. It has the information. It doesn't give the name. So for example, this is the hair. So I'm going to call this. It's very important that you name this at first because down the line, it makes a big difference. So this is the hair mask six. What is max? So you just go, you just go off and on. You can, I can see this is the lips. So I'm going to call this lips. All right. And what is that? This is, oh no, that was the lips. So what is that? That's, that's not the lips. Oh, it's the teeth. That's why there's no selection. It's the teeth. Teeth. Sorry. And that was the lips. Okay. And that's the lips. Yeah. It takes a bit of time, but you do it only one time forever. And that's, uh, the eyes. Okay. That's the eyes eyes. And what is that? Oh, that's the eyebrow. You see, it says personal eyebrows. I don't know why it doesn't call it that way. Uh, it's a bit much easier if it's on the name level and that's, um, body. That's just a body skin, body skin. And last but not least, we've got the most important, the face, the face, most important. Okay, cool. So now we have all of this named. Uh, we are going to do some retouching. So what ca what can you do on this one? I'm thinking to add a little bit of exposure, maybe 0 0.1 of exposure and less contrast on a face just to make the skin a bit smoother. So maybe minus 25 on contrast and, um, show I did pin. I'm going to put on never so you can see a little bit better. So, okay. Face here we are face. And when you select something like body skin, if you haven't done, done nothing to it, it's going to be red. You know, eyebrow is going to be red. Eyes is going to be red. What can we do to make the face a bit better? What's amazing about this guys is once we've done it one time, we can automatically have this applied to every portrait for the rest of the time, which is amazing. So minus contrast. And one thing I like to do on woman's face is a bit of minus clarity. Now you think you're not doing much, but check it out. Look at her face before and after. Uh, maybe it's a bit too much on minus contrast. I think I'm going to. I'm going to go back to contrast, bring back some contrast. You want to go very subtle. Yeah, I like that. Okay. Body skin, same thing, body skin, just a little bit of exposure, a little bit of minus contrast, a little bit of minus clarity. It's just going to make the skin kind of smoother, nicer. All right. Eyebrow. Now for a woman, I like to make them a little bit darker. So let's make it slightly darker. You know, woman likes to have the eyebrow a little bit darker usually. The eyes, I like to make it a bit brighter. Now on the eyes, you have to be very careful. She can look like a snake in no time. So I usually go like 0.2 on the eyes. Lips, I want to add a bit of saturation. I want to uh, definitely, that works really well on the woman. Lips, check this out. Yes. And teeth, she has no teeth. Hair, hair, I just add a bit of contrast usually on hair. That's about it. And if you want to see without all the mask before, after. See, we're retouching her skin. We're just making it a bit more nice. It's a basic retouching, but it's kind of cool because now that we have that, we can create our basic preset. Okay. So for that, I'm going to go here. I'm going to go to, so make sure you're in the develop module. I'm going to go to preset, create preset, uh, AI portrait preset. I'm actually going to create a new group. I'm going to call it Kelby AI portrait presets. Okay. Bam. 
Okay, and this one I'm going to call it basic woman. All right, make sure all the masking, hair, teeth, lips, eye, eyebrow, body, skin, face is selected. Okay, because now that we have that, uh, I can take another photo of her and then I can go to my Kelby AI portrait preset, basic woman, click on it and boom, look at that, her skin. Here you see you have all the mask open and just look, the skin is just much clearer. Look, let's zoom in so you can see here. Look at her skin before, after. It's just brighter, it's softer. Yeah, woman usually like that, the, the, you know, the lips is stronger. It's just a basic retouching. It's just a basic retouching. Let's go back to this one and I wanna create a couple of new presets. Let's get creative here. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna reset this photo and I'm gonna apply the basic woman preset. Okay, so now I've applied the basic woman preset. Okay, and let's adapt it to this photo. Now on this one, I want to show you a really cool feature. If you go here and you go to create a new mask and you select background. So it's going to select everything but her. Okay, and now the background, you make it very blue. Now you get a blue background. And then um, what else we could do? We could do like a vignette effect. So I could go here plus add a big regional gradient. Okay, there, oh, let me go back to auto here so I can see my gradient. Okay, big regional gradient, like that. And then I can invert it, that gradient, so, so I can go here and I can invert the mask. And let's call this, it's good to name your mask. I'm gonna call this vignette, it's just a vignette effect. Vignette, and then let's call this blue background. Blue background. Okay, so now we got vignette and blue background. Okay, vignette, what I want to do is lower the exposure because I inverted the mask. You see, it's, it's doing it only on the outside. Something like that, it's a little vignette effect. And then on this one, we could actually brighten the subject. So we do the opposite. We take a red gradient, we make it big, and we add some exposure here. Voila. So this one, I'm gonna make brighter subject, brighter subject. Okay, so check this out. Look at this before the mask, after the mask. We're changing a lot. So now that we changed a lot, let's create a new preset. So I'm gonna call this one basic woman blue background. Okay, and make sure you select all this new local adjustment that we did. Okay. I can take this photo, for example, of her. And if, would, if I would apply the basic woman, what do I get? I just look at this, look at her skin, how much brighter it is, it's kind of cool, it's nice. But now let me reset this. If I go basic woman with blue background, give it a second and look at that. Now she really sticks out, it's, it's blue behind her and it's all automatic using AI. Look at that, look at the difference and just from local adjustment, okay? So now let's go back to that photo and let's create another preset. Let's take the blue background on that and then let's give it like a film look, okay? And how do you give the film look to something? If you go on Google and type teal and orange look and you click on images, you will see that it's a very common theme in Hollywood. And the reason why, uh, so check it out, this is from Transformer. You see how the hero is really, really orange and the background is really, really green. And uh, it's a very common thing. You have it in every movie in the world. And why is that? I mean, sometimes they get fancy, like for example, on Mad Max, it's a bit different, like he's very orange, but uh, the shadow on this one is very orange too. There's no blue in the shadow. Uh, but look on this one, teal and blue, like teal and orange is the Hollywood look. And there, there is a reason for it. Yeah. If you go to Adobe Color, let's talk a little bit, a little sci science here. I want to show something. Uh, boom. Create. Okay, here's the color wheel. Uh, complementary. Complementary means the opposite. So the human skin, okay, is usually around here, right? It's usually in the orange. The more you go to the center, the less you're saturated. So it's around here. And 
Complementary means the opposite, okay? So what is the opposite of human skin? It's blue. Or if you're very orange, it's kind of teal. That's where the teal and orange looks come from because human skin is orange and teal is the opposite. But why would you do that? Well, simple. You do that because you want the actor to stand out. And how do you make somebody stand out? You add some teal. That's what you see here. That's why he stands out so much because everything is teal except his face. So we already have that kind of thing because I made the dark and blue, which is not really teal. And, and, but we can push this a little further. So I can go here in the color grading and this is the mid-tones, this is the shadow, and this is the highlights. Well, shadow is, is the shadows. If I add a lot of blue, I'm gonna overdo it. I'm adding blue, you see, that's the blue. The more this is in the center, the more I'm not adding blue, the more I'm putting it outside, the more I'm adding blue. And then if you can even move this around, so now I'm adding blue, I'm adding teal. In the shadow, only in the shadow, I'm, you know, I'm adding green, orange, red. So movies is usually teal. Teal is the movie look, right? And if you want to go really strong, you can go that way. And it's like really, I mean, look at this before, after I'm really adding a lot of teal in the orange in, in maybe a little less. So you can just go like that. And then let's add in the highlights, which is her face. Let's add some orange or which is the opposite. And, and this one, you got to go a little more subtle. Okay. And that's going to give you a film look on top of everything that we did. It's going to give you like, because also a lot of film, I mean, movies are like this, but the film himself, like some films, like I shoot a lot of films like Portra 400, called that gold. Some are very warm, some are very blue. And some of them give that kind of look, you know. And then you have the mid-tones. So mid-tones I usually don't touch, or you can add either some warms or some blue in the mid-tones. I'm going to add maybe a little bit of blue. And now we got a new preset. So I'm going to create this preset. I'm going to call it basic woman till and orange boom and again I can take this photo and I can take this basic woman oh you see if you make a typo do you see I made a typo you can rename preset that's just to show you voila and now I got this sort of look on this one let's try on this photo basic woman teal and orange wait for it I'm just gonna click on it not so bad not so bad let's compare it to to this one so if, if you want to compare two preset you over your mouse over the teal and orange one then you wait a bit and then you go to this one oh, look at the difference big difference look at this one boom yeah it's got like a much more teal look Elevate your photo editing skills at the Kelby One Lightroom Conference. Learn from the experts and transform your photography. Sign up at kelbyonelive.com.